What's up guys, it's Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another Madden NFL 17 Detroit Lions franchise. And today, it's the week 17 season finale of, well, the regular season. But today, we could have a chance to win the division. And today we're taking on the Green Bay Packers at 11-4 versus 11-4. The winner is obviously going to win the division, right? So if you guys are excited for that, drop a like. And if you're new to this channel at all, Hey, get ready for them playoffs and hit that subscribe button down below. And this is, I know it's, I'm excited to see what we can do for week 17. To see if we can try and win a division. But the fact of the matter is we still don't have Matthew Stafford. We still don't have Golden Tate. We we have Amir Abdullah back. That's a positive. Um, we still don't have DeAndre Levy. And, you know, it, it, it kills us not having, you know, the guy under center, especially. I mean, I could have. I mean, missing Golden Tate's obviously huge, but missing Matthew Stafford hurts us even more uh, due to the fact that he is the franchise quarterback. And without him, I mean, you know, this team is not as efficient. This is like the 0 16 Lions we're talking about here that we. I'm not saying we're going to be comparable to the 0 16 Lions, but I mean, with a quarterback like TJ Yates under center I mean it doesn't really give us much of a chance to taking on a good contender like the Packers um, with a win we could also get the uh, second spot in the NFC which means we would get a bye week um, take a look at the standings the Browns are the lowly Browns are gonna finish 1 and 15 that's awful the Jaguars are gonna be the top of the AFC this year at 12 and 4 it looks like uh, because right now it looks like everybody in week 17 plays a division foe uh, you see the Bills and the Patriots. Winner takes that division. Um, they don't play each other week 17, but it would have been interesting to see if they did or not. But um, that would have, e have been a great showdown. You see the Broncos fighting for their playoff lives as well. A loss puts them in a very sticky situation. Uh, you see the Packers and Lions. Obviously, winner take all in that division. Um, the Bears and Vikings don't really matter. The Panthers have clinched the South at 11-4 and four so far. Looks like they might win out. And uh, a good old-fashioned shootout here in the Giants and Cowboys won in the NFC East. That's not really that surprising because the NFC East is always having those Week 17 matches. Uh, the a NFC West as well. The Seahawks look like they've clinched. Uh, so we're pretty much going to be waiting for to see how much, how well we do because it's, again, winner take on the NFC North. Get ready for a good old-fashioned battle here. I don't even have a word for it right now. The Packers and Lions for the NFC North here at Ford Field. We're wearing the color rush, my friends. We are wearing the color rush. I do like the, the Lions color rush. I didn't necessarily like the Packers once. <clears throat> so I decided to give them all the yellow. Why not? Like, let them stick out a little bit. I know a lot of you Packers fans probably don't like the yellow jerseys. But I was like, eh, let's be a little different this week. We haven't worn the color rush all week or all year. So let's just, let's just give it to them this game. You know, let's give it to them the week. Of week 17 the color rush comes out I do like the black jerseys on the Lions a lot they look nice they look sleek they look amazing so let's get underway here as week 17 is underway as Theo Riddick taking this one from a step into the end zone and he's gonna take this one out to the 25 so pretty much the same as a touchback but here comes former North Carolina Tsar heel TJ Yates last game he did have a couple touchdown passes and one interception but uh, not enough to get the win against the tough Dallas Cowboys team that's pretty much rolling at this point. Um, so, third down and three here for the Detroit Lions. Here is Yates dropping back to pass, looking underneath to Ebron, and Ebron gets the first down, picking up six yards, just a little bit to get, just to keep the chains moving. Third down and six here. Uh, here is Yates dropping back to pass again, looks, and he gets hit as he throws, and it's going to fall short of his intended target. So here comes Aaron Rodgers. 28 touchdowns, 12 picks, almost 5,000 yards passing. He's had a spectacular season, and we can expect a great game from him today. He's been pretty good against the He beat us pretty good last time, so hopefully this time around we aren't going to give up as much yardage to number 12. as uh, They get a first down right there, but later on in the drive, it's first and 10 at the 42. Here's Rodgers in a single back formation, and Rodgers has Cobb in motion. Going to hand it off up oh, to Lacey, and Lacey... 
Gets a little bit of yardage, but there's a flag on the play. Killipper is going to get knocked with a face mask penalty. So give him 15 more after that one. So that's not a smart play. Uh, so that one's, we're pretty much shooting ourselves in the foot right there. So third and five here from the 33. Rogers in the pistol. Dropping back to pass. Has some time, a lot of time. Looking to the right side. It's caught, but not enough. And it's actually out of bounds. So they're going to mark this down at the 33 still. And here comes Mason Crosby for the 50-yard attempt. And the kick will be up. Hold from Hundley is good. And so is the kick as that squeaks through the uprights and the crossbar for a 3-0 Packer lead. I formation here on second and three. Handed it off to Amir Abdullah. Nice to have him back in the lineup after missing him for the past few weeks. Man, I really need a running back at this point of the season. Because... Let's face it, TJ Yates is not that guy who's going to win me a playoff game with his arm. Um, we need the running game to be effective in order for us to be somewhat competitive in the playoffs, and that's what I'm trying to figure out is how much do we actually need TJ Yates to be effective uh, in the passing game. And if we can control the clock, we control the game. So if we can control the run game really well, I feel like we'll be successful in the playoffs. Here's Rodgers dropping back to pass. Throws it away. Good defensive stand right there by the Detroit Lions. As the Lions get the ball back, 8.36 remaining here in the second quarter. Third and one for Yates. Dropping back to pass. Has some time. Looking deep over the middle. It's caught, but then dropped by Ebron. And, man, Ebron. Yates is one for six. Just, my Lord. Some of them, yeah, they're his receiver's fault. Ebron should have had that one. But he's been throwing a lot of awkward passes. As Rodgers dropping back to pass this time. Looking over the middle, it's Adams. And Devontae Adams has a first down for the pack. Um, so now third and nine. Rodgers all alone in the shotgun at the 32-yard line. And dropping back to pass. Has some time. Steps way back this time. Gets it off to Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb with a first down. Aaron Rodgers, three of five for 46 yards. And now Packers again with a third down at midfield. Looking for the handoff to Lacey, but the run game has not been effective at all for the Packers. As Eddie Lacey has nine carries for 21 yards. Third and 10 here for the Lions. Yates in the under center, dropping back to pass. Has some time. Gets it almost intercepted. Ooh, not a smart pass. Yates has still only completed one pass. Oh, man. It's some of them, yeah, they're, they're overthrown. Some of them have been dropped. It's been a mix of everything for... TJ Yates so far. He has not had a great game as Rodgers gets that one underneath the Randall Cobb for a first down. Third and two here from the 39. Rodgers in the shotgun with Lacey on the right side. Rodgers taking his time with the, the play too. He's really taking his time. Rodgers driving back to pass. Pump to the left but he throws it to the left side. It's caught by Randall Cobb. First down for the pack once again. First and 10. 120 to go to here in the second quarter. Here is the defense trying to Bend but not break at this point. But Rodgers dropping back to pass. Look at it's intercepted by Darius Slay and taken down from behind by Jordy Nelson. But if man, if he would have caught that in stride, he would have been gone. Darius Slay has been great in the second half of the season. And we are looking for a score before halftime. As this flag is going to be for a, an encroachment penalty on Clay Matthews. So that's a free first down. So hopefully. We can get some momentum towards halftime, and we can uh, take that to the locker room. Yates, deep pass, caught by Marvin Jones in stride, and he is gone. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. And the Lions have a 7-3 to lead as, wow, that was a great play. Great touch pass. But can we do that again? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to judge some of these passes like that. Third down and three. Rodgers driving back to pass, looking over the middle to Devontae Adams, down to the 38, and it's a first down as we begin the third quarter, as hopefully, you know, this defense can continue to do well against this Packers offense, because we've done that so far, we've held them in check, Rodgers again, looking underneath, this time it's caught by Eddie Lacy, and Lacy not getting anything on that one, as that is going to bring up a fourth down, Mason Crosby, this time from 54 yards away, that's going to be a, a hard kick. And it's blocked. And this one is going to be recovered by the Packers. But it still doesn't matter as we came up with a huge stop on fourth down. Blocking that field goal. 
And it's now still 7-3. Third and 11 here for the Lions. Yates looking deep downfield. And it's, yep, yeah, that's why it won't work again. I thought Marvin Jones would have had the speed. But look at TJ Yates' completion percentage. 3 of 5 for 64 yards. Just not a good game. This game has been ugly. Like, really ugly for both teams. Because it's not, like I said, Rodgers is not getting his team to score down the field. He's already thrown in an interception. I haven't thrown in an interception, but I've thrown a lot of incomplete passes. And I'm surprised I'm even winning this game. Let's be fair. I, I honestly didn't think I'd be winning this game with that kind of completion percentage. You would think that I'd be getting blown out, but I'm not. It's 7-3. Defense is playing all lights out right now. You see right here, we get another incomplete pass here on third down, forcing the Packers to punt. And we have a chance here to extend the lead. Can we, though? Well, with TJ Yates playing, uh, uh, playing like this anyway, it's highly unlikely. Let's just hope that we, our defense can at least minimize what the Packers have done so far. And we can continue to hold this lead here going into the fourth quarter. Third and 18, though. Yates dropping back to pass. Hit as he throws. And it's almost e e Ebron. Ebron, my man. My boy, you got to catch those. You had your hands on it. You got to catch them, man. You got to just catch them. That's his, like, second or third drop today. He's been kind of off as well. You see Jordy Nelson left wide open. Touchdown, Green Bay. Oh, man, that's not how we wanted to pull it out. That's not how we drew it up. And that is going to be his 15th touchdown for uh, Jordy Nelson. It's now 10-7. Here's Yates on third and three. Looking to his right, caught by Marvin Jones. And he's going to be taken down. And TJ Yates is 6 of 20. And just not that great. Here's off to Jeremy Curley. And now 8 of 22 as he's completed his last three passes. Congratulations, TJ Yates. But you're, that's as far as you're going to get. You look into the right, left side. It's caught, intercepted. Uh, not a great smart pass right there. by Roll and Intercepted by Rollins, as a matter of fact. So... Not a great play by the Lions offense right there. Not a bad, not a great pass for TJ Yates. I am just, oh man, this is gonna be. This has been an ugly game, and it's continuing to get uglier, right here. I don't even know if that's even a word. It's probably not. Looking in the dictionary, it's not even a word. Uglier is not even a word. So that's how bad it's been. Third and seven from the six. Yates trying to get, avoiding the safety. Somehow gets it caught by Jeremy Curley. And Yates finally passing 100 yards passing in the game. 9 of 25. Just yikes. That's all I got to say is yikes. It's been awful. Second and 10. Fumble on the play and recovered by the Packers. That would happen, wouldn't it? It's been that kind of the last couple of games for us so far. Fumble after fumble. Yates is just a mess. First and goal here from the 7. Three running backs on the play. Here's Rodgers looking underneath. It's caught by the other Rodgers. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's now 17-7 to as this one's looking like it could be out of reach. But we're not giving up just yet because we have a division to win. Here is um, – we get it off to Jeremy Curley, but it's not enough for the first down. But we're going to go for it on fourth down because we need to win this division. Here is uh, Yates off to Marvin Jones underneath for a first down. Now Yates is 13 of 30. He's starting to pick up his play here in the fourth quarter, which is, you know, better late than never, I suppose. But we get this one off somehow to Andre Roberts, and he is going to find himself Pater. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. It's now 17-14, pending the onside kick here. We could have something going for us right here. Onside kick. Here we go from Prater. Can he get it to go down? No. Right into Janice's hands. And with two timeouts left, a minute 53, we're going to be left with very little time left to get a, something off here. But here we go on third and six with a minute 45 here to go in the football game. Hand it off to Eddie Lacy. Lacy fumbles the football, and the Lions recover. What in the world? Now the Lions have a chance. Third and ten. Yates all alone in the shotgun, dropping back to pass. Trying to find somebody open for the first down, but it's incomplete. And now the Lions down to their last shot here. Fourth and ten with a minute and a half to go. Yates dropping back. Trying to find somebody. It looks like Ebron had his hands on it, but he could not reel it in. And that one is going to be 
a loss for the Lions as we are going to drop to 11 and 5. As I, I wish you guys would have saw this whole game because Yates' accuracy was more than just a few of those drop passes, and a few of those interceptions were just yeah, you could look at them and say they were my fault. But honestly, you look at some of the Yates' passes, you would see you'd probably see the whole story and how Yates' day really was. It was pretty bad. More than just a few drop passes and a few balls that were off the line and at throws that I shouldn't have thrown in the first place because some of those throws were just way off the mark and it really kind of hurt my team in the end because um, I feel like a lot of those plays could have been made and it could have made a difference. But we're going to get ready for the playoff games. Uh, next week we are going to the wild card game. We don't get a home playoff game, unfortunately, because we're not a division winner. So um, hopefully the next week we will, t will turn out better for us. Uh, hopefully we don't face a team that's going to be too overpowered. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. And I am out. Peace.